most bored. What time is it? Two o'clock. We'll be up in th at three, so about an hour. And then I put up my poster. I'm nervous. She'll be fine. I'm nervous. <laughs> Hello, Queen Bee. Hi, how you doing? And today we are in Minneapolis. So <laughs> obviously a long way from my home of Florida. Yeah, so I thought it'd be a fun video, small video probably. Um, but yeah, I'm here for a convention. Uh, if you don't already know my thesis from when I was in master's, in my, doing my master's in grad school, uh, got accepted by the APA convention. And so I got to go and I just went, just did my poster session. Very fun. Um, got to talk to like four people that came up, wanted to talk about my poster, which was very cool. And then, um, yeah, a lady even was like, hey, I'm from Beijing. I came all the way from Beijing. I do the same thing with self-esteem. How about you call me up? I was like, we'll do. So <laughs> lots of fun things happening. But um, yeah, I thought this video could be very fun. Just me, uh, Jace and Buffy running around Minneapolis. So yeah, <laughs> this was our first full day here. So yeah, we shall see what happens tomorrow. <laughs> Hello, so obviously I'm back in Florida, but um, yeah, I forgot to like record myself talking again, like what I was doing, I forgot to like talk. Um, I mean, I did talk a little bit, I did like little things here and there, so I'll throw those in when the time comes, but yeah, I figured I could jump in here and kind of move you guys along to see like what I was doing during my entire trip in, Min in Minneapolis. It was so fun. I had a blast. The APA conference was so fucking fun. And I also thought that this video would be really cool because like I kind of sold my whole channel as like, I'm a psych grad student and I watch Buffy and I give you grad stuff about psychology. Um, so the fact that like my grad work actually made it into a conference, I thought that would be very fun for you guys to see. Maybe, I don't know. Also, I have never been to a conference before and I didn't really know a whole lot about it. And my whole grad program was completely online. So I didn't have a whole lot of like people to talk to during my whole thesis thing. Like obviously I was emailing my professor and stuff, but like I never really got to like talk to anyone about my thesis that like actually knew stuff about psychology obviously I had like family members like what what's what, what, your thesis and I was like oh it's about you know self-esteem college self-efficacy and success and stuff and they're like what's self-efficacy and then I would have to explain self-efficacy for like the 500th time anyways <laughs> the fact that like I got to go to this conference and then like people already know what that means and people already know like kind of the gist of like what I was researching and what my research is based on. It was just so fun. And I got to, uh, a couple people came up to me and like were talking to me about my poster and everything. It was just so fun. And I was so, so excited to see like other people just in my field. And I got to sit in on a couple presentations and it was very, very fun. And yeah, unfortunately I only, got, I only went for the one day cause it was very, very stressful. I was like, I, if you already know, I'm a anxious person. Uh, so it was very anxiety inducing being around so many people, but it was so fucking fun. So yeah, so this was my second day. But yeah, yeah, the first day was just us um, arriving in Minneapolis. Uh, our flight left at six in the morning, so we had to be at the airport by five, and the airport was an hour away from my house, so we had to leave at 4 a.m. So we didn't even get any sleep. We did a full all-nighter. I think, I believe I slept on one of the planes because we did have a layover, which by the way, what our layover the first time was 30 minutes. We had to run, we had a sprint across our entire fucking layover in Georgia. I don't have any footage because I was stressing out. We had to go from like one side of the airport to the complete other side. It was insane. We like just barely made it to our, our connecting flight. If we didn't run, we wouldn't have made it. Anyways, I slept on that flight. We went to, finally got to Minneapolis, got to our hotel, we put our luggage away, and then we were starving. We were so hungry. And we were just like kind of like walking around Minneapolis and we're like, where should we eat? And there's this security guy or some city worker on the side of the road. And we were like, hey, dude, um, where's the best place around here to go? And we went to this nice place. If you ever in Minneapolis, Hen House was so fucking good. Oh my God, their food to die for. <laughs> we went there twice because it was so good. And so yeah, so then we went there, we went back to our hotel, 
Jay slept for, I'm not even kidding, 15 hours. <laughs> so yeah, so then the third day, Saturday, we went to a few places. We went to a sushi train place, which I've never been to, but I've always wanted to go to. So we went to that place. It was super fun. Not, you know, spectacular sushi, but it was a cool experience. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> no. That probably would have sounded more commanding if I wasn't wearing my yummy sushi pajamas. Also, by the way, we've taken scooters basically everywhere, and it was so fun. I've never been in a city that was so, like, pedestrian-oriented, if that makes sense. Like, I've always been, like, where I am in Florida, you need a car. If you don't have a car, you're not getting anywhere. <laughs> so it was very cool to see like a city that's like, I can walk everywhere. We didn't, I don't think we took an Uber besides from the airport to our hotel. I think that's like the only time that we ever took an Uber. All the other times we took a scooter and it was so fun. After the sushi train, we went to the Minneapolis Museum. I forget the exact name, but the museum was completely free, which was awesome. And it was so gorgeous in there. Oh my God, there were so many beautiful works of art and it was so pretty and again it was free it was so nice uh just for like a day so that we can like just chill super fun but yeah and then i have some footage of basically all that we were doing uh when we came back to the hotel there was a valorant tournament that was happening the last chance qualifiers if you are aware of valorant um so yeah we were watching that on our uh our hotel screen and yeah it was super fun the hotel was very nice we stayed at the chambers hotel which it was okay um nothing spectacular didn't have like insane amenities or anything but it was nice in the center of the city so yeah so that was our main trip uh, it was super fun um again i would never be able to do this without you guys and without um the insane job that you guys let me have on Patreon on YouTube, uh, getting to watch this show, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I am so, so grateful that you guys are able to give me the chance to go on these insane freaking adventures to another city and have a convention for my thesis. It was so fun and I am still reeling from it. It was oh, so fun. So yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, just like a little glimpse into like what I was doing last week. So yeah, with that, I do believe that is all I have to say about my trip to Minneapolis. So yeah, thank you again to all my beautiful patrons over on Patreon. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye! in the humidity with my glasses. <laughs> Back in Florida. I made it. We're home.